Here is an application of division statement. You are given dividend equals to 3x cube minus 5x square minus 7x minus 4. Remainder is equal to 11. Quotient is 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Now dividend was divided by another polynomial resulting in the given quotient and remainder. Find the divisor, right? So the other polynomial is the divisor. You need to find the divisor. You can pause the video, try the question and then look into my solution. Well, from what is given to us is dividend, remainder and quotient. We need to find the divisor. So what we can do is we can write the division statement. I'll prefer to write it first in the multiplication form. That is to say that the dividend here which is 3x cubed minus 5x square minus 7x minus 4 is equals to divisor which we want to find let it be d of x times the quotient which is 3x square plus 4x plus 5 plus the remainder right so that is the multiplication statement which relates dividend remainder quotient and the divisor now from here we can find what divisor is. So first we can take away 11 and then divide by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 to get the value of divisor. Okay, So we can say divisor d of x is equal to difference of this from 11 that is 3x cube minus 5x square minus 7x minus 4 minus 11. Right? And then we will divide by 3x square plus 4x plus 5. 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Correct. So what we get here is 3x cube minus 5x square minus 7x. And that is minus 15 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Now to get the value of divisor, we can divide, right? So let's do long division. We cannot do synthetic division in this case since we are dividing by a nonlinear function. Okay. So what do we get? So let's let's do long division. Okay. Let me use a different ink. We have 3x cube minus 5x square minus 7x minus 15 and here we have 3x square plus 4x plus 5 so well we need to multiply by x so if I multiply by x we get 3x cube plus 4x square plus 5x when you take away you get 9x square minus right when you take away this is minus 12x let's bring down minus 15 so that should go by three times right so you do minus 3 so when you do minus 3 you get minus 9x square minus 12x minus 15 the remainder becomes zero so from here it is very clear that the divisor d of x is equals to x minus 3. So that is our answer. And that is how we should be doing these type of questions, right? So that's the answer. I hope it helps to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.